guys, my name is Charleston and welcome to TrollandToad.com's Pack Cracker. Guys, we do these every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And today we are actually opening some uh, Card Fight Vanguard, the Divas Edition, I guess is what you could call it. Uh, be sure and also check out our Facebook Live shows every Tuesday and Thursday. Last night we had a great show with Jim and Jeremy on the, uh, the Magic Edition of that. They opened up some great stuff, showcased some great stuff. That was a whole lot of fun. Now guys, be sure and check us out tomorrow night, uh, Thursday the 27th, and uh, that's going to be our anime edition of our Facebook Live show, in which we'll be showcasing Card Fight Vanguard and uh, several different sets of that, along with the Final Fantasy TCG and uh, other games such as Buddy Fight and Force of Will. So that should be a really interesting show, and uh, really looking forward to that one. But uh, also don't forget that we're going to be at Gen Con for the best four days of gaming from August 17th to the 20th. And guys, that's gonna be loads and loads of fun. Our team's gonna be there, and uh, we really hope to see you guys there. Let us know, you know, if you've watched any of the shows so far, what you thought about them. And hey, if you've got some uh, product to, to come and get off your old dusty shelves out of your closet, or closet, be sure and bring that to us, and we'll be more than happy to take a look at it and see what we can buy from you. And all the same, we're gonna have tons of product, including uh, these editions of Card Fight Vanguard and other games such as Magic the Gathering, of course, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, uh, just tons and tons of awesome, awesome stuff uh, to sell to you guys. So yeah, be sure and check us out Gen Con August 17th through the 20th, and we will have a blast there. Also, don't forget to uh, join our mailing list on trollandtoad.com, and that will get you guys in the know on any upcoming promotions that we may have, any of our Facebook Live shows, the schedule, uh, pack crackers, um, giveaways, just anything related to trollandtoad.com, that mailing list will keep you completely updated and informed. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited to actually open up this Card Fight Vanguard. Uh, I actually got to experience the Divas deck here. I believe it's uh, yeah the debut of the Divas. I actually got to uh, play with this a little bit last night uh, because I'm not entirely familiar with the Divas in Card Fight Vanguard. Uh, but it was a whole lot of fun. So what I'm going to do, as we always do on these pack crackers, is we're, uh, we're going to get crack a and open some of these. So these guys are the trial decks. These are all the same. But uh, So we're just going to open one of them and showcase some of the nice cards in it for you guys. So if you'll bear with me, I'll try and do my best here. I'm always someone who doesn't like to rip, rip packs, uh, but these actually open very conveniently. Now, as always, every, uh, to my knowledge, Card Fight Vanguard Trial Deck, as they call them, which is the same as other games such as like a starter deck, a theme deck, uh, they always come with your typical play mat and kind of instructions and how-to. But one thing that I noticed that was really, really cool about this Trial Deck specifically was it actually comes with a very nice promo in it. I actually opened up a different Trial Deck last night to, uh, to kind of check out as well, and I was sorely disappointed that it did not come with one. But you know what? Hey, they're doing it now, so that's awesome. So we'll let you guys check out this card right here. Very nice little promo included with it. And guys, right there, that is superb new student Shinzuku. Now, if you don't know anything about Card Fight Vanguard, uh, what you pretty much do is take the role of a Vanguard and all of these, uh, there's several, di several different factions, and what you do is pretty much summon them, and they are your avatars, and you kind of command them as your avatar. So, uh, this particular card right here, uh, Superb New Student Shinzuku, is a part of the Divas. And what the Divas are, they're all just these, uh, just really happy-go-lucky uh, girls. Yeah, uh, they range from being, you know, uh, cool girls that, that kind of command uh, mechs and stuff to, uh, yeah, high school girls or uh, college, whatever this will be. Superb new student. Um, but they, they have some great art. And then there's other factions such as dragons and giants and machines, all kinds of cool stuff. Let's, uh, let's open up this deck here and see what else we got in it. It's really hard to get this open because on the sides, 
they also taped it and I don't have a knife but that's alright we got it open now we'll see if we can get this part we'll just slide that off right there alright so these decks are completely ready to play decks that are once again based around the theme of whatever faction that you are playing in Carfight Vanguard this faction being the D.Va faction uh, so in my experience of playing the deck and they also include in the uh, in a couple of their pamphlets here that come with the trial deck they kind of tell you what the theme is and how you should maybe try and go about playing it and the strategy behind it so I'll go ahead and let you guys see the first card here as we uh, talk about this deck a little bit so this card right here is uh, again these are all trial deck exclusive cards to my knowledge these are all trial deck exclusive uh, they actually have their set code down in the lower left corner that shows that they are from trial deck 14. Uh, maybe a little bit hard to see that but it's definitely there so in card fight vanguard you can go from a level zero to a level four um, avatar i guess is what you would call them all and this one happens to be a level three a level three is as strong as you can get uh, before being able to have to meet certain criteria to summon your level 4 which is like the ultimate version which there are uh, also some level 4's in here so we'll show you guys one of those so there happens to be a level 4 uh, I believe that's uh, Lilinel Chow Chow or Choo Choo however you would want to pronounce it but uh, all these, all these divas, by the way, guys, are all. It's it's almost like they're from the same family. They have a name, uh, but their surname is all the Chow Chow. So they have different abilities that let you kind of search and fetch for maybe a level two Chow Chow and and do something special with it, or fetch a level three, a level one, you know, what have you. Now, this trial deck also has a new ability or sorry mechanic I guess is what you could call it and that mechanic happens to be I believe it's G unit heal or G guardian that's right so G guardian is a new uh, mechanic or technique that comes with the G unit uh, avatars which are your level fours your level fours are your G unit avatars uh, and the divas actually as far as I'm aware has debuted the G guardian so what this is, is if you were in a really, really bad spot, there are creatures that are considered guardians that are meant to be used to help you in a pinch. Um, they don't attack, but they do save your life. And these level four G unit guardians actually save your life in a major, major way. So if it looks like you're on the ropes and you're pretty much getting ready to scoop up the game and, and call it quits on that, these G unit guardians can come in and really, uh, really save you in, in the best way possible, really turn the tide. Right, guys, these also come with a few other uh, foil cards. Uh, we showcased a couple earlier. I believe the uh, Lilinel Chow Chow was foil and the Tarua Chow Chow debut stage was foil. And they actually include a couple more foils in there. And we'll let you guys see both of them right quick. There you guys go. Again, as we said before, uh, these divas all pretty much come from like the same family. Uh, it, it even could be like a, a school name, per, perhaps. But uh, here we have uh, Pite, Petit, Chow Chow, and then Ayana Chow Chow. So Petit is, of course, one of your level zeros, and uh, then Ayana there is one of your level twos. And again, guys, this comes fully decked out, ready to play, tells you how to play it, everything that you would need to know about Card Fight Vanguard. Uh, as I said, I got to play with this deck a little bit last night, and it was actually really, really fun. How the Divas, uh, how the Divas kind of seem to behave is that they do a whole lot of uh, switching back and forth in their kind of defense line and their front line and just having a lot of uh, abilities to be able to kind of save one, uh, maybe put it back onto the bottom of the deck to save it and let you fetch it out later in the game. So 
Uh, if you're if you're a player that likes to do a whole lot of kind of uh, manipulation to everything, that's a really really fun really really fun deck to play. I'm gonna lay out uh, lay out this uh, mat here to show you guys as we uh, show a couple more of those cards for you all. There you guys go. There's the mat. Maybe a little bit hard to see. I'll actually hold it up for you guys. So as you see right there, it's uh, just like any other uh, kind of starter theme deck. Really shows you how to lay out all of your cards. Um, and of course, it's uh, diva themed. So really neat. And then, as always included, is uh, how to play the game. And then on the back, or actually this is the back side. So this just tells you how to play the game step by step. Uh, it's actually really, really easy. It's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh meets Final Fantasy meets Magic the Gathering, honestly. That's, that's what I would consider it. So if you've played any of those games and you enjoy them, you would probably really, really enjoy Card 5 Vanguard. All right, so that was the trial deck of uh, debut of the Divas. And again features the Bermuda clan that's that was that's their official name is the Bermuda clan really really cool looking game and they have some awesome looking foil cards and just some awesome art in general if you're a super big fan of anime uh, this is definitely a game that you would absolutely have a thrill playing uh, they have you know, artwork that ranges from all the way from the cute side to the very, very sinister side of how anime can uh, be perceived. So, really, really cool. But you know what? I'm ready to pack a, or not pack open, but open some packs of uh, this new Prismatic Divas. I think these are considered kind of uh, subsets in a way. Uh, yeah, they're, they're considered clan boosters. So, if you were to buy a box of uh, this specific one, see if it has a, yeah, it's the Prismatic Divas uh, box. If you were to happen to pick this up and you're a really, really big fan of the Divas, what you're going to get is all Diva cards. So unlike a full core set, when you would open it up, you're going to get, you know, you might get a Diva or two in a pack, but you're also going to get just the whole range of all the other clans. So that's where these clan boosters actually come in really, really handy is that you don't like some of the other clans, you like the way that this plays, hey, pick one of these up and you're just gonna be able to build yourself a super, super strong diva deck. As such, uh, this actually comes with a promo as well. So we'll show that to you guys if I can get it open. There we go. Try not to bend the card there. So this, guys, is Friend of the Sun Marika. Again, that's another promo down in the lower left corner. Um, yeah, lower left corner is going to say, I believe, PR. And then the, uh, the promo number for it there. But yeah, guys, if you pick up a box of the Prismatic Divas, uh, not only in addition to having a only Diva set, you're going to get this promo that you're not going to be able to get any other way. So really, really cool. And again, that's foil right there. It's got a really uh, nice little shimmer to it. But let's get up to uh, opening some of these packs. I do want to tell you guys the chances of getting some of these rarities because uh, there is one special thing about this clan booster. And that is that you actually have a chance, and it's a rare chance, but for a good reason. There could be a chance that you open up a pack of these divas and every card is going to be an SP. SP standing for uh, like special parallel, which are super, super rare cards. So in addition to them being super rare cards, you're gonna have a chance to open a pack that could be nothing but that. So that in and of itself is, is more than enough reason to, to bust one of these open. Now of course this comes with, you know, commons, rares, double rares, triple, ra triple rares, and generation rares. In addition to uh, those uh, special parallels, and that special parallel clan pack, as they want to call it. So let's bust this open right here. These packs, I believe, come with uh, 
think six cards? Seven cards, yeah. Uh, comes with one, two, three, four, five commons, and this one happens to have two rares in it. So let's see if that trend continues there. We'll put these up for you guys. Now these uh, foils right here have like a, uh, kind of like a star foil effect all over them. Uh, there we opened up Talent of Perseverance, Shandy, and then Friend of the Star, Mimosa. Mimosa, that's a very cool name to have. Again, that was two rares out of that pack, so we'll see if the trend continues that we get two rares in every pack, or maybe we just got lucky on that one, who knows. All right, on this next pack here, and we're just gonna showcase some of these rares because this is actually the first time that I've even gotten to open these. Uh, I don't know any of these new cards that are in these packs, but you know, nine times out of 10, it's always about these rares. We always wanna see where the, where the good, strong power is. So uh, here we actually opened up a rare and then a double rare. So it does look like that at the minimum, we're gonna be opening up two rares per pack and uh, five commons per pack. And of course, you know, there could be some good commons. There's just so many cards to read through. Here we have uh, that first rare was uh, Duo Harpy Diary Cheryl. And then it uh, looks like the double rare was Duo Sprinkle Light. And then I can barely read that name there, but uh, that was one of the double rares there. All right, guys. So coming up on our next pack here, again, five more commons. And we have opened up a, another rare, and then, get this, a triple rare. So, so far, two, two rares in one pack, a rare and a double rare in the next one, a rare and now a triple rare in the next one. So if we can keep that trend going, uh, we might get lucky here, and then uh, get to that GR, that GR rare, and then uh, maybe even some, some SP rares, who knows. So there we have uh, Maximum Rapture Lucia. Uh, again, that's a, a G unit right there. That was actually two G unit rares. So two really strong level four G unit rares. And then uh, Orient PR, or yeah, that's actually Prism. It just got a cute little heart in between the PR and the ISM. Uh, Konami, again, all really, really good cards, especially considering that we just busted open that nice triple rare. So. Let's see uh, if our luck continues. All right, so in this one, it's just two normal rares, but hey, that's okay, guys. We can't we can't make uh, amazing things happen in every pack. And then there we have uh, Orient Prism Karina, and then Friend of the Moon. Uh, and then I can barely see her name, but uh, yeah, Friend of the Moon. <laughs> Maybe it's Matilda, who knows? All right, again on this pack, we got two more rares. And uh, all these rares, of course, are foil, so that's pretty cool. And there we have Eager, Eager Envy, uh, Moronier and Sweet Prism Titus. And then in this pack, we open up a, another rare and then another double rare. So it looks like all the rares seem to have a, a star foil to them, whereas the double rares seem to have their normal double rare foilness to them. And there we have Duo Stream Showtime Paytonia and uh, Wonderful Voice. All right, coming up in these next pack. We have a rare, and this is actually a rarity that I'm unfamiliar with. Let's see if we can see what it is here. Oh, it's a special reiss reissue. Uh, yes, I did fail to mention that there are three reissues that are, uh, it's a new rarity, that's RE, and those reissues happen to be three triple R's from past sets. 
so they actually are giving you a chance to get hard to obtain cards even in this clan booster so that's really really cool too So there we have Cheerfully Etel Olivia and Sweet Prism, uh, some name, but uh, if we can scoot that over just a little bit, that uh, Sweet Prism Rupina. So guys, that Cheerfully Etel Olivia, that's actually the reissue from a past set that she actually was in normally as a triple rare. So again, really, really neat. So in my honest opinion, we are getting amazing luck because here's another rare and another double rare. Uh, that last pack having that RE reissue in it is essentially like we just opened up a triple rare. So we're getting some really, really good value out of opening up all these uh, divas here. All right there, again, as I mentioned, uh, there's the new G Guardian ability that happens to also be included uh, in the trial deck is also in this set. And that's Chow Chow Engage, Lead, Platy, and an Orient Prism Aari. And you can see, you know, all these, uh, all these divas, they kind of have different themes to them, but they're all still a, uh, the, from the Bermuda area, or Bermuda clan, as they like to call themselves. All right, and see, this is what I'm talking about. Again, another rare and another triple rare. So we're doing absolutely amazing on this box. There you guys go. We have Duo Idol Emperor Kuna. And uh, that triple rare there was Arcadia Star Coral. Again, two more level four G units. I could probably build a deck between this trial deck and what I've opened up out of this box, I could probably build a very strong deck if I were to, if I were to guess. All right, let's see what we got next. All right, so two more normal rares. Completely fine with that. And there, guys, we have Chow Chow Prayer and Sun. Thunder Rival Veruca. These names are a little difficult to pronounce on some of them. Again, where they are uh, Japanese-inspired names, uh, but I mean the art once again is awesome, along with the game being awesome. All right, on to our next pack. We have two more rares here. Alright, so there we have uh, Chow Chow Seguri and Sweet Prism Nilum. So it looks like I just opened the last pack and it looks like we unfortunately did not get the all SP pack. You know, I knew it would be too good to be true. Again, that's a really rare uh, pack to get. But let's see if we can finish it out with possibly getting an SP or a special parallel anyhow. So I'm going to do this real slow. There's one common, two, three, four, let's see, ah, it's a rare, and then another double rare. So again, hey, nothing wrong with that. We opened up the reissue, which is a, a past series triple rare, and uh, I believe we opened up uh, about three other triple rares and several double rares. And there we have Ambient Silence Itosha and Chow Chow Sarah. So if I'm recalling correctly, not only did we open some great pulls, guys, it doesn't look like any of the rares that I just opened, none of them were duplicates. So I got pretty much all brand new divas that I've never seen before uh, to really kind of play test with and get to learn the full scope of this clan booster set. So that was really fun. Uh, and I failed to tell you how many packs come in this, so I wanna make sure that I tell you right. So I've got one, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so twelve packs right there all 
now new, unique uh, rares to me. Uh, we didn't get any duplicates, like I said. And then we got uh, a good spread of commons here to be able to build a deck with. So that should be a lot of fun. Again, guys, we do these pack crackers every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And they're a blast to do. It's always fun to open up a brand new product. And I hope you guys had uh, a lot of fun watching. Uh, and then I hope that it also made you want to try out the game, or if you already play the game, pick yourself up some of this uh, D.Va product right here and uh, get to cracking. Again guys, that's Prismatic D.Va's Clan Booster for Card Fight Vanguard. Uh, we also do our Facebook Live shows every Tuesday and Thursday. Like I said at the beginning of the show, last night's show with Jim and Jeremy was awesome. Uh, it's always a great time whenever Jim's on the camera. And, uh, you know, it's nice to see Jeremy back. He's kind of, uh, Jeremy's kind of Jim's uh, younger encyclopedia. And uh, so it's always nice to watch those two work together. And don't forget, tomorrow on the 27th, I believe, yes, we are doing our anime edition. So this is of our, of our Facebook Live show. So this right here, this Pat Cracker, is already kind of like a prequel to that show tomorrow. And uh, we'll be showcasing some more Card Fight Vanguard along with uh, Buddy Fight, Force of Will, and uh, the Final Fantasy TCG, which we have a pack cracker on of Opus 2 if you want to check that out. Um, like I said before, this game and the Final Fantasy game kind of play similar. I know it's a lot of a lot of similar elements, so you might have a blast watching that and picking, a, picking up something from that show. Uh, but yeah, be sure and go to trollandtoe.com, join our mailing list, and get into all the, uh, the, the know about of what's going on with trollandtoe.com. We, uh, we also have our Customer Appreciation Month coming up in August, which is only really about a week to a week and a half away. And we're going to be doing some special promotions for you guys to show our appreciation and love for you all. And we're going to be showcasing that both on the website and uh, nice promotions. And then here on these Facebook Live shows, I'm sure that we'll probably be giving away tons of stuff just to show our appreciation and uh, see if we can get you some even better deals on uh, some great, great product. And last but not least, come and check us out at Gen Con, 17th through the 20th, best four days in gaming. It's gonna be a blast. Everyone here is gonna be there. And uh, yeah, bring anything that you got, we'll check it out, we'll try and buy it from you. And then of course, we're gonna have anything that you've seen uh, on any of these shows. And then uh, some great product as well that maybe we just randomly found in the warehouse. We're like, oh, well that's really cool. And you know, let's see, let's see if someone's interested in that. Uh, but yes, August 17th through the 20th, Gen Con, come check us out, it'll be great. Again, I'm your host, Charleston, this was uh, Card Fight Vanguard, debut of the Divas uh, edition, we'll call it, of Pack Cracker. It was great opening all this stuff with you guys, and uh, yeah, come check us out on anything that we do on Facebook, or come check us out, Gen Con, trollandtoe.com, anywhere, we're everywhere. Thank you very much, guys.